The Butterly Company was an English manufacturing firm founded as Benjamin Outram and Company in 1790. Portions of it existed until 2009. Topic Origins. This area of Derbyshire had been known for its outcrops of iron ore which had been exploited at least since the Middle Ages. After the Norman Conquest, nearby Duffield Frith was the property of the de Furers family who were iron masters in Normandy. In 1793, William Jessop, with the assistance of Benjamin Outram, constructed the Cromford Canal to connect Pinkston and Cromford with the Erewash Canal. In digging Butterley Tunnel for the Cromford Canal, coal and iron were discovered. Fortuitously, Butterley Hall fell vacant and in 1790 Outram, with the financial assistance of Francis Beresford, bought it and its estate. The following year they were joined by Jessop and John, the grandson of Ichabod Wright, a wealthy Nottingham banker who was betrothed to Beresford's daughter and who owned the Butterley Park estate. In 1793 the French Revolutionary Wars broke out and by 1796 the blast furnace was producing nearly a thousand tons of pig iron a year. By the second decade of the next century the company had expanded with another works at Codner Park in Codner, both works then having two blast furnaces, and output had risen to around 4,500 tons per year. <laughs> Early years Outram died in 1805 and the name changed to the Butterley Company, with one of Jessop's sons, also William, taking over. In 1814 the company produced the iron work for Vauxhall Bridge over the River Thames. The company also owned Hilt's Quarry at Kreich, which supplied limestone for the ironworks and for the limekilns at Bullbridge, providing lime for farmers and for the increasing amount of building work. The steep wagonway to the Cromford Canal at Bullbridge was called the Butterley Gangroad and incorporated the world's oldest surviving railway tunnel, at Fritchley built 1793. In 1812, William Brunton, an engineer for the company, produced his remarkable steam horse locomotive. In 1817, in the Depression following the Napoleonic Wars, the works at Butterley was the scene of the Pentrick Revolution. The intention of the rebels was to kill the three senior managers and ransack the works for weapons. When they arrived they were confronted by George Goodwin the factory agent, who, with a few constables, faced them down. There is little to be seen of the event, but the hexagonal office where Goodwin stood his ground is a listed building in the yard of the works. Following this the country entered a long period of prosperity, the company with it. In 1830 it was considered to be the largest coal owner and the second largest iron producer in the East Midlands. By this time the company owned a considerable number of quarries for limestone and mines for coal and iron, and installed a third blast furnace at Codner Park. One of the two drainage engines at Pode Hole and the engine in the Pinchbeck Engine Land Drainage Museum were built by Butterley, as were the scoop wheel pumps, they produced a vast array of goods, from rails for wagonways to heaters for tea urns. Thomas Telford's Caledonian Canal used lock gates and machinery with castings produced at Butterley, and two steam dredgers designed by Jessop. The company also produced steam locomotives, mostly for its own use, but it provided two for the Midland Counties Railway. It produced all the necessary castings for the new railways and two complete lines, the Croydon, Merstham and Godstone Iron Railway and the Cromford and High Peak Railway. A winding engine for the latter exists in working order at Middleton Top near Worksworth. 
the company was quick to invest in the new Bessemer process for steel manufacture in 1856, being one of four businesses that took out a license from Sir Henry Bessemer within a month of his announcing his method. The licenses were spread around the country in order to protect the trading interests of the licensees. Notable patents were taken out by the company's manager, Sir John Aline. In December 1859 Aline patented a method of producing a load-bearing iron beam known as the Butterly Bulb, used in many early iron steam ships including HMS Warrior. In 1861 Aline patented a method that allowed hot ingots to be moved around a roller after they had passed by just one person. During the production of steel sections the bar has to be repeatedly put through rollers. Allowing this to happen using just one person was a substantial increase in productivity. By 1863 the company was rolling the largest masses of iron of any foundry in the country. Among its most famous buildings are the Barlow train shed at St Pancras Station in London, which included 240-foot spans. Aline's next invention was the two high reversing steel mill patented in 1870, which used two steam engines to allow metal ingots to be repeatedly rolled to get the correct size and section. With this technique the steel did not have to be moved to re-enter the rolling process but merely had to be moved back into the rolling machine once it had passed through. There was also an extensive brickworks for railways, thousands of factories and domestic dwellings. By 1874 company workers were starting to fight for better conditions. The company sacked 11 miners, without a charge, on May 5, 1874. 20th century At its peak in the 1950s the company employed around 10,000 people. In 1957, a partnership with Air Products of the USA helped establish that company in the United Kingdom. In the early 1960s, the company acquired locomotive manufacturer F.C. Hibbard & Co. Ltd. The Codner Park Works closed in 1965. The company was acquired by Lord Hansen in 1968 for £4.7 million. The company was subsequently split up into Butterley Engineering, Butterley Brick and Butterley Aggregates. Butterley Hall, Outram's home and later the company's offices, was sold off to become the headquarters of Derbyshire Constabulary. In the mid-1980s the foundry closed down. When surplus buildings were demolished the original blast furnace of 1790 was exposed. 21st century The company entered the 21st century with a well-established reputation for constructing bridges, overhead cranes and structural steelwork. One of the company's prestige projects was the Falkirk Wheel, a boatlift at Falkirk, Scotland to reconnect the Forth and Clyde Canal and the Union Canal in place of a derelict flight of eleven locks. Designed by RMJM Architects, it was funded by the Millennium Commission. The company constructed the Spinnaker Tower in Portsmouth. On 5 March 2009, the company was placed into administration, the administrator stating, this is a highly specialist business that has proven vulnerable to the economic downturn. Following the closure of Butterley Limited in 2009, Wellman Booth acquired certain assets, spares and intellectual property rights of the company. Wellman Booth is a division of the Clark Chapman Group Limited, itself a wholly owned subsidiary of Langley Holdings plc. Demolition of the works was undertaken in November and December 2009. Photographic records of the demolition and the works are at the Adetnow site. The blast furnaces, part of the canal tunnel and its underground wharf were declared a scheduled monument in 2013. 